marks off his steps. And we're about set for the second half. Merrill kicks it, and we're underway. A wobbly kick. It'll be taken by Lanning, the up back at the 15, 20. Straight ahead, 25. He fumbles the football. It's loose. Who's got it? It's loose on the 23-yard line. And Lanning got back on the ball. He coughed it up, and lucky for Eli, the Redskins still have the ball. Well, that was just a tremendous hit there. First down, Redskins, from their 23. Boy, he wouldn't have been able to face Cornelson if he didn't get back on that one. <laughs> and up the road, it's a fullback, big hole up the middle across the 30, out near a first down at about the 33-yard line. Ryan Rhodes, and his number wasn't called in the first half, dragged down by Jay Crum, and it's going to be about a 10-yard pickup, and they're going to move the chains first down. Pickup of 10, first down, bubble. So Rhodes a factor on his first carry of the game. First down liberal from their 33. Rhodes and Andy Hall in the eye set behind Chapman. Chapman takes a snap, handoff Rhodes, and he mows a couple tacklers down as he crosses the 35 to about the 37. Jared Baskall and Ryan Gardner both in there on the stop. Pick up uh, about four on the play, second down and six. David Garman is not in the starting backfield right now for Liberal. They've got him actually in a slot to the left side. So they've got Rhodes and Hall in the eye set. Hand off Rhodes, straight ahead. He's to the 40, drags back to the 43-yard line, and he's close to a first down. But a flag has been thrown back at the 38-yard line. Aaron Baldwin and Barry Smith, a secondary man on the stop for Great Bend. It's going to be holding against Liberal. So that would have been close to a first down, but they're going to mark it back, and that'll set up a second down and long now instead of first and 10. 10.53 to go third quarter. Liberal 14, Great Bend 13. Ray Bender and Bob Judd bringing you the action on 1270 KSCB. Well, this one's going to be a big one. Back inside the 30 to the 27. And it'll be second down in a bundle, second and about 15 yards to go. Hall and Rhodes check out of the lineup. Tooman and Love split to the left side. The lone setback is Mullen. Chapman, pitch left, it's Garmin, excuse me, across the 25 to the 30, and he's out near the 37-yard line. Big gain for Garmin back to the original line of scrimmage. Picks up about nine or 10. It'll be third down. Jay Crum and Jesse Fontenot, the two safety men on the stop. Third and seven, Tooman, Love, and Dunlap split to the right side. Chapman, pitch right, Garman, trying to get outside, cuts back to the 40, first down, 45, midfield, and he's knocked down at the Great Bend 48. Big chunky yardage there for David Garman. Picks up about 15 on the play. Jesse Fontenot wrote him down, but a big pickup, and they move the chains. 16 yard pickup on that play. First down, Redskins. Right, Ball spotted at the great band, 48 yard line. Rhodes and Hall behind Lamar Chapman. Hand off, Hall, and he doesn't get much. Matter about the line of scrimmage, they're gonna mark the ball about the 49 yard line. Knifing through that time, Ray Stevens, along with Troy Stein, the right defensive end. It'll be second down and about 11. Officials are going to call a timeout here with 9.32 to go in the third quarter. Now they resume play. Making sure everybody is set. And now they'll start the clock. Second and 11 for Liberal on the Great Bend 49-yard line. Chapman hands off to Hall, fakes the handoff, keeps it left side, and he's met at the line of scrimmage and knocked backwards. Aaron Baldwin, the senior, 
along with Stevens and Stein. Gang tackling again for Great Ben. It'll be third down and 11. Didn't take anybody that time. Nine oh five to go in the third quarter. Liberal clinging to a 14-13 lead. Tuman and Garmin now will be split out to the right side, and Jason Dunlap is the lone setback. Rashidi Love split left. Third and long. Third and eleven for midfield. Chapman takes the snap, short drop, fires left side, complete to Love at the 40, Love's loose, 35-30, tripped up inside the 25 at about the 23-yard line. A short out to Rashidi Love, Jared Basco and Ryan Stevens on the tackle, but a pickup of close to 30 yards, and now they're going to mark it back to the 32-yard line. So it looked like he got it closer to the 20, but they say he stepped out of bounds. Still a pickup of 18 on the play and a first down. 16 yard pass play, first down, level. Chapman under center, handoff, Hall, right tackle, and he's dragged down. Clint Steiner, 6'2", 182 junior, who's been busy at that left end spot on the tackle. Pickup of a couple, second down and eight at about the 30. Second down and seven. That was a big third down conversion, and now they're trying to capitalize on it. Second down and seven. Chapman hand off the garment, hit at the line of scrimmage, and he falls forward to about the 27. It's going to bring up a third down and about four. Troy Stein on the tackle. So another big third down conversion. Let's see if, what they do here. If they go to the running game, that's their strength. Garmin split right, Love split left. Two backs behind Chapman. Hand off, fake hand off. Chapman keeps it up the middle. He's got room, a first down, 20, 15, and knocked down at the 13 yard line. 20 yard pickup for Lamar Chapman. Jay Crom on the tackle. Uh, he saved possibly six points, but we have a flag down at the 18 yard line. Boy, a clip, 15 yards. They had the first down. Chapman with that open field running again, he just has a knack for finding those holes. He's really fun to watch. Just has a sixth sense about him, but this penalty is gonna wipe that out, and it's gonna bring up third down and long yardage. They're gonna mark it off after the play, so that is good news for Liberal. It'll be back to the 34-yard line. It'll be third down and 11 from there. So the big game negated by the penalty, third down and about 11, and they may have to put it in the air here. Timeout Liberal. Timeout Liberal, 7.34 to go third quarter. Redskins 14, Panthers 13. You're listening to Redskin Football on 1270 KSCB. <laughs> Chapman drops on a third and 11, fires across the middle, complete to Tuman at the 20, and he's got enough for the first down. Lamar Chapman with the quick two-step drop. He looked left and didn't have to look any further. He saw Tuman open over the middle for a big gain, and we've seen Chapman and Tuman hook up in big plays before. There's another one. 15-yard pickup on the play, first down, Redskins. the 18-yard line. First down on the 18, a great fan. Play action, Chapman rolls left, breaks the tackle, he's to the 15 and he's double teamed and dropped there. Pick up of about two or three on the play. Second and seven. So a couple big third down conversions. One pass to Rashidi Love for about 20. And then a completion of 12 yards to Jeremy Tooman to keep the drive alive. 
Vikings. Second down, seven for Liberal on the Great Bend 15-yard line. They lead the Panthers 14 to 13. Two back set behind Chapman, wants to throw. Straight drop back, sets, rolls left now, being pressured, and he's gonna be sacked. Sacked back at the 23-yard line. Good pressure that time by the Panthers. Clint Steiner, the senior end, has been all over the football field, and he rode down Chapman. Loss of five on the play, third and 12 at the 20 yard line. Love split right, receiver split to the left side. Chapman. Straight drop back, five set drop, looks, fires toward the end zone, Garmin can't get to it, incomplete. Fired it high off the hand of Garmin, he got a hand on it, but that's all he could do. And the pass falls incomplete, it'll be fourth down. Boy, a good pass that time, but a little bit too tall for David Garmin. It's going to be a tough kick. Josh Hensley to hold. The ball will be snapped back to the 27-yard line. 37-yard attempt. Kick on the way. It's got the distance. It is good. He got it. Philip Aguilar from 37 yards away. And the Redskins extend their lead to 17 to 13. So Aguilar had plenty of distance on that one. He has a strong leg, and he came through right there, and that's got to give the offense a boost after a time-consuming drive. 5.45 to go third quarter. It's now Liberal 17, Great Bend 13. You're listening to Redskin Football on 1270 KSCB. Philip Aguilar kicks it away, and Nike Gatlin returns it for Great Bend to the 34-yard line, and the Panthers will start first and 10 from there. 17-13 Liberal, 5.30 to go in the third quarter, and this has been a good one. Both teams slugging it out, and the Panthers have been surprising coming in with their 1-4 record. Crown the quarterback, hands off to the fullback straight ahead, and absolutely nothing up the middle for Robert England. It'll be second down and 10. Ryan Rhodes that time, one of the linemen in on the stop. Trey Duncan and Glover also in there. The whole defensive front that time collapsing on Robert England. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. Liberal with a four-point lead. Philip Aguilar with a big 37-yard field goal. And that's quite a difference leading by four rather than one. Tom throws across the middle, complete to Steiner, the tight end. Dragged down by Rashidi Love, and he'll be very close to a first down at about the 44-yard line. Clint Steiner coming into the game with just one reception. Latches on to one, and they're going to have to bring out the sticks, I believe, here. It'll be third down, and the sticks will have to be brought out to the middle of the field. 4.34 to go. I've been very impressed with Jay Crum. He's a guy that you look at him probably without shoulder pads and you'd think he was a golfer, but <laughs> this guy's been impressive on the option and that short pass has worked with that two tight end offense. Just a hair short third and inches from the 44-yard line. Crom with the split backs behind him. One receiver split left side. In motion will be Bobby Williams to the right side now. Crom takes a snap, hand off to England, the fullback. No, he keeps it instead, and he's dropped in the backfield. Ryan Rhodes drops Jay Crom, 
It looked like England, the fullback, had the football, but Crom kept it, and Rhodes was all over him. Loss of four yards on the play, and Great Bend will have to punt the football. He should have given it to the fullback, Crom. Three yards to go. Three forty-nine clock running third quarter. In to punt it will be Jay Crom. He'll stand on his own twenty-eight. Back deep for receiver she Love on the liberal twenty. Kick underway and it's a good one. Kind of a wobbly kick. Love will let it bounce at the twenty-three. It bounces inside the twenty and out of bounds at about the eighteen yard line. Very effective kick for Jay Crom. The average is about forty yards a kick. And that time he punches it out at the 18 and Liberal will start deep. 17-13, the last drive was very time consuming and I'm sure encouraging. They got three points out of it. They would have liked to get six, but anytime you can keep the defense on the field that, that long, you have to feel good about it. And off to the fullback straight ahead. Rhodes, the ball is loose at the 25, and Great Ben has the football. Ryan Rhodes coughed it up at the line of scrimmage. It scooted forward five yards, and Nike Gatlin, the cornerback, the guy that pounced on the football at the liberal 25, and a turnover could be very costly at this stage of the game. Approaching three minutes to go in the third quarter. 17-13 Liberal. Great Bend has it on the Redskin 25. Crom. Play action. Fires left side. Open is Williams, and he can't get it to him incomplete. Williams is open on the left sideline. Coverage over there by Brian Herbel. Rashidi Love also over there. Williams streaking down that sideline. The pass about five yards in front of him. It's second down and ten. Split to the right side, Ryan Stevens. England and Fontenot, the split backs behind Jay Crom. Second and 10 from the Liberal 25. Crom with a long count, in motion will be Stevens to the left side. Option right, pitches to England, cuts back toward the middle of the field. He's to the 20, he's got 15, he's got score. Touchdown, great bend. And option right, Jay Crown pitching to Robert England. Looked like he didn't have anywhere to go, but he cut back against the green. And he takes it in from 25 yards out. And the Panthers have taken control of the game again. They lead it by the score of 20 to 17. In for the extra point, Nathan Merrill. Nineteen seventeen, Merrill trying to put number 20 on the board right here. Snap back, fake. Rolling out, Crom throws for the end zone. It's caught by Steiner for the two-point conversion. Great Ben faked the place kick. Crom rolled out, and Steiner, the tight end, went high in the air and caught the floater in the corner of the end zone for the two-point play. And Great Bend leads it now 21 to 7. 2.59 to go third quarter. Panthers lead the Redskins by four. You're listening to Redskin Football on 1270 KSCB. Scoreboard operator. Nathan Merrill kicks a scribber up the middle. Mike Stegman brings it back for Liberal across the 30 to the 36 yard line. And Redskins will start from there. Well, the turnover hurt Liberal there. Ryan Rhodes coughed it up. And Great Ben with a 25 yard touchdown run from Robert Anklin, his second rushing touchdown of the game. The two point conversion from Crom to Steiner. And the Panthers regain the lead 21 17. And the Redskins will have to play catch up. 2.40 to go third quarter. 
Chapman, hand off to Andy Huff. Big hole up the middle, across the 45. He's got a first down close to midfield. Andy Hall slanting over right guard. I'm gonna mark it at the 49. Jay Crom on the tackle, pick up a 14. First and 10 Redskins. Love split right, Garmin split left, Rhodes and Hall in the backfield. Chapman, hand off Hall, this time over left tackle, gaping hole, 45-40. He's tripped up at the 38-yard line. Jay Crum, again the senior, and I can't count the number of times Crum has saved big gains with shoestring tackles in this game. Pick up of about 14 on the play to the Great Bend 36 yard line. Timeout Panthers. Let's keep it right here. 21 17 Great Bend, 224 to go in the third quarter. Liberal looked like they had this game in command after that long drive and the field goal, but then the turnover. And so many coaches will tell you that turnovers are worth so many points in a ball game, and Great Bend has capitalized, and they have the confidence here going into this final quarter. breaks out of their huddle, they're ready to get to the football, but the Panthers taking their time. This defense, undersized, they have a lot of seniors, a couple sophomores out there, but they have played a whale of a ball game. The one guy that really comes to mind is Jake Crum, the senior safety. He has at least a dozen tackles, and a lot of them have stopped possible touchdown runs in this ball game. First and 10 Redskins from the Great Bend 36-yard line. I set of Rhodes and Hall behind Chapman. Takes a snap, handoff, Hall, right tackle, big hole, 35, and he's down to the 30-yard line. Pickup of seven, and you can see the intensity now. That offensive line really opening up holes. Clint Steiner on the tackle. It'll be second down and about four. Number seven, second down and three. Second down and three from the Great Bend 30. Chapman, handoff, Garmin, left tackle, first down, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Redskins! Garmin broke a couple tackles, slanting off the left side, broke into the open, and he takes it the distance, 30 yards, and the Redskins regain the lead. Aguilar for the important extra point, kick on the way, and he got it. 1.44 to go in the third quarter. David Garman with his third touchdown rushing in this one. And the Redskins lead it. Liberal 24, Great Bend 21. You're listening to Redskin Football on 1270 KSCB. Philip Aguilar with the end over end kick, a short one, but it's taken by Marcus Reed on the 15, and he goes to a knee on accident, and Great Bend will start right there. That's the second time we've seen that from the kick return team for the Panthers. Four twenty-one. Liberal on top. Great Bend starts first down from their 15-yard line. 126 to go, third quarter. In motion is Williams to the left side. Option right, and a handoff to the fullback off the right tackle. 
for a couple yards. England on the carry, Rob Glover on the stop. It'll bring up second down and he actually picked up about close to four on that play. Second and about six yards to go. Approaching a minute to go third quarter. This has been a real shootout and an entertaining game for the fans. I'm sure the Redskins fans expecting a more lopsided ball game, but Great Bend has really put up a good fight in this one. 48 seconds, the clock running in the third quarter. Liberal up by three points. Split set behind Crom. In motion is Stevens to the right side. Crom hands off to the fullback and drops right at the line of scrimmage is Robert Englund. Jeremy Tooman knifing in there along with Glover. And he may have lost a yard. It'll be third down and long. And that is probably going to be the last play here in the third quarter. Now the clock stopped with 21 seconds. And they're tending to somebody down on the field. Ryan Gardner, the fullback for Great Ben, was injured on the liberal offensive series, and they're tending to him down on the sidelines. And now it looks like a redskin is, is injured. It looks like Ryan Rhodes, the 5'11", 220 senior. It is. He's up on his feet now and walking. Looks like he's okay. He's walking on both legs, limping a little bit. You hope it isn't a knee or anything serious like that. He'll be attended to and taken off the field. 21 seconds, the clock stopped, and the officials will start it once they place the ball here. Third down and eight yards to go for the Panthers. I'm going to try to get one more playoff here as they start the clock. It's under 20 seconds now. In motion, Williams to the right side. Crom, option left. He'll keep it. 20, breaks the tackle, 25, and he's going to be close to a first down. Jay Crom on the keeper. And let's see where they mark this football. Ty Shandy with the tackle, and he's going to be about a half yard shy. It'll bring up a fourth and about half a yard as we come to the end of the third quarter. Liberal 24, Great Bend 21. We'll be back with the final quarter. You're listening to Redskin Football on 1270 KSCB. <laughs> Measurement is about a half yard shy, I believe. <coughs> Bob. Bob, the leading Great Bend 24 21. Fourth down and about half a yard for Great Bend from their own 25 yard line. A lot of things going on right now. First of all, they brought the chains out and showing that the Panthers are short. And now an ambulance is down on the field. They're attending to Ryan Gardner, the 5'9", 174 sophomore fullback, and their leading rusher on this near sideline on the Great Bend side. And you hate to see this. Anytime they bring a stretcher out, you hope it's not a neck injury or a spinal injury. And they think it's, that's what the preliminary indications are. We'll get back to that as this game wears on. Fourth down and half a yard for Great Bend from their 25. Crom takes the snap, handoff. The fullback straight ahead, and I don't know. It's going to be close. Okay, it's England. Robert England on the carry. He's had two touchdown runs so far this season. Jason Dunlap, one of the guys who knifed in there first. They needed to get about half a yard across that 25-yard line, and depending on where the sticks are, they're going to bring him out now. It was fourth and half a yard. The sticks are out in the middle of the field. They put it down, and he didn't get it. The Redskins stop on a fourth and half a yard. A big defensive stand, and a gutty call by Great Bend, but this time it backfires on him, going for it on fourth and short from their own 25. A 
11.40 to go. Liberal up 24-21. First and 10 from the Great Bend 25. Chapman hands off to Garmin. Left tackle, not much. A couple maybe from the 23 as he's driven backwards. Coming in that time, England from his linebacker spot. Also, Mark Murphy, the outside linebacker. It'll be second down and eight. They continue to attend to Mark Gardner, the sophomore who's been so instrumental in their team's hopes this season. And they have the stretcher out there, and we'll keep you posted on that. Chapman, option left, cuts back, 20. Chapman to the 15, breaks the tackle, and he's down to the 14-yard line, and a penalty flag is thrown in the vicinity. He'll be very close to a first down. I believe he'll have it, but let's see which way this one goes. Matthew Gatlin on the tackle. Holding on liberal. That was the second down and eight. Chapman had enough for the first down, but they'll mark it backwards. 10.59 to go. The clock stopped. Liberal 24, Great Bend 21. Neither team able to break away. This game has been like a seesaw back and forth. Liberal surging ahead, Great Bend coming back, Liberal taking the lead. And here's a tough situation. The ball marked back to the 27 now. It'll be second down and 12 yards to go. Hall will be split to the right side. Love split left. Dunlap and Garmin in the backfield behind Chapman. Lamar takes a snap, hands off. Takes a handoff, keeps it left side, 25-20, spins to the 15, and he's going to be very close to a first down, but another penalty flag is resting on the 20. And again, indications would be against Liberal because it's, it's thrown back near the backfield. No indication yet. Another great run by Chapman. He'll be very close if the play stands to a first down. And again, Bob holding on liberal, and Gary Cornelson has to be fuming on the far sideline. Best wishes go out to Ryan Gardner, the leading tackler, the leading rusher on this team, just a sophomore, and they have high hopes for him the next couple of seasons. So second down and 14 for Liberal on the Great Bend 30. Receivers left and right, Hall and Dunlap in the backfield. Chapman's going to throw the football, sets, looks, fires it deep down the right side, and it's picked off by Colin Mitchell. will bring it out to the 10. Crowd out to the 15-yard line before he's dropped. Lamar Chapman throws the interception. But we have another penalty flag down at the 28. That's on the far sideline. And what's this one about? The first down for Great Bend. Liberal is backing up. They, their offense is still on the field. They think it's against the Panthers. That pass intended for Tooman as he said he was in the area, and Crom just kind of waited back like a center fielder, and is going to be defensive pass, pass interference on the Panthers. Boy, a break for Liberal this time after consecutive penalties against their offense. And on a second and 14, let's see how they mark this off. Now, it won't be... From the spot of the foul, it'll be either a 5, 10, or 15-yard penalty. They'll mark it from the 30 inside the 20 and to the 15-yard line, and that's the first down. First and 10 liberal on the 15. First down liberal, 15-yard line. Garmin now in the backfield with Jason Dunlap. 10-16 to go in the game. Liberal 24, Great Line 21. And the Panthers want a timeout. We'll take one as well. You're listening to Redskin Football on 1270 KSCB. Team to go in the ball game. Liberal leading the Great Bend Panthers 24-21. This has been a hard-fought battle, a close one from start 
to possibly finish. And Liberal knocking on the door, though. First and 10 on the Panther 15-yard line. Two back set behind Chapman. Handoff. Fakes the handoff. Option left. 15. Cuts back to the 12. Dragging tacklers to the 10. Inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Great second effort by Chapman. Made a short gain into a big one and a pickup of about seven on the play. It'll be second down and about three yards to go. He shook off a minor injury a while back. Here's Chapman hand off to Garmin, left tackle, and he's dropped at about the line of scrimmage. Coming through that time was Mark Murphy along with Dean Demmel. Demmel, their only returning starter from last year on defense, and they double teamed to drop Garmin for a loss. It'll be third down and about four yards to go. Third and four on the nine. The clock running, and the clock is the Redskins' friend here with 9.14 to go, and they lead by three points. Big play here, third and four. I set behind Chapman. Handoff, Garmin, right tackle, trying to get to the outside. He's to the 10, the flag, touchdown, Liberal. David Garmin turned the corner with that sprinter speed, and he got to the corner, and Liberal with a big touchdown at the 9.02 mark. And they extend their lead to 30 to 21. Aguilar for the extra point, and he splits the uprights. Nine minutes, two seconds to go. David Garner with his fourth touchdown run of the ball game. It's Liberal 31, Great Bend 21. You're listening to Redskin Football on 1270 KSCB. Robert England takes a kick from Philip Aguilar in the end zone. Wanted to run it out, but before he could, the official waved his arms and said, that's a touchback, so they'll take it on the 20. two to go in the game, 31-21. Liberal leads Great Bend, and the Panthers, who have fought back a couple times in this game, have a 10-point deficit to make up. And off to England, he's got a big hole, 30, 40, 45, midfield, and finally dragged down at the Liberal 43-yard line. Who is this guy? Robert England, 91 yards rushing coming into the ball game. The backup fullback to Ryan Gardner, who is a leading ground gainer, and he picks up big yardage. 37 yards to the liberal 43, 8.54 to go, and the Panthers strike back. He already has two touchdowns rushing from 53 and 25 yards out. First down from the Liberal 43. Crom wants to throw this time. Fires it right side. Intended there for Stevens, who's got it. Breaks it back at the 25, 20. And finally knocked out of bounds at the Liberal 16-yard line. Ryan Stevens knocked out by Jason Dunlap. He broke a couple tackles. The 5'7", 155 senior. And he's their leading pass catcher. Coming into the game with seven and a big play there. Pick up of 25 yards. Panthers are knocking on the Redskins door. 8.38 to go in the game. Liberal up 31-21. Backfield, Marcus Reed and Robert England. In motion is Nike Gatlin to the left side. Crom, option right, pitches to England. He is hit and knocked down. Five Redskins converge on the ball. Loss of a couple, second down and 12. 
Robert England is down. Jeff Moen. Looks like England is just getting the shoe back on. He's had a tremendous ball game. Jeff Moen was one of the guys to get in there. Jason Dunlap. Great team tackling. 8.23 to go in the game. Great Ben must be thinking now. They're down 10, two touchdowns to win it, a field goal and a touchdown to tie, so they could conceivably kick a field goal here and get within seven. Second and 12, play action, Clown fires, complete to Steiner. Steiner to the 10 and he's knocked backwards. Pickup of eight yards on the play. Roger Hoffman and Rashidi Love converge on the tackle. That quick hitter over the middle. Steiner has had a big night offensively and defensively for the Panthers. And the clock is now a factor. 7.20 and running in this one. Liberal leading by 10 points. Reed and England in the split backs behind Crom. Takes the snap. Hand off. Pitch left. It's going to be Reed. He's got an open five. He's to the goal line. Touchdown. Great bet. The option left. Crom with a beautiful fake into the line. He pitched it at the last instant. And Marcus Reed, a junior, an impressive junior varsity player, they thought he might see some action tonight, and he gets his first rushing touchdown as a varsity player. It's now 31-27 Liberal. Boy, this one has had some fireworks, huh? Boy, Bob Valicene and Stan Parrish would be proud. They're both offensive coordinators, former KU, K-State coaches. Crom now going for the two-point conversion. Fires it. It's knocked into the air and intercepted by Jeremy Tooman. Crom tried to spot Troy Stein, the tight end, in the left part of the end zone to try to get two, but it was knocked into the air and picked off by Tooman, and the two-point conversion fails, and that was a big two-point play right there. The score now, Liberal 31, Great Bend 27, with 7.09 to go in this one. That could have cut it to two points. Now, Great Bend needs a, needs a touchdown, not just a field goal to win this ball game. So instead of kicking it and getting it to a three-point deficit, the Panthers go for two. Boy, the offensive teams have really been impressive. You need to talk about Jay Crom when you talk about Great Bend. He's been so calm, cool, and collected on the option game and passing the ball. And Robert England. Seven oh nine to go. It'd be risky here. Still some time left. Nathan Merrill to kick it away. Back deep for Sheedy Love. End over end kick. Love will take it on the 12 yard line. Bobbles it now, hangs on. 15, 20, and he's hammered. Just hammered at the 20 yard line. Coverage was there in a hurry for the Panthers. And both players are down. Rashidi Love getting up. He's walking off on his own power now. A tremendous hit put on by the specialty teams. It was Robert England, the guy who has just really hurt the liberal defense with his running. He came in and it was a head-on collision with Rashidi Love. Both guys fell backwards and they're gonna <laughs> attend to England at the 20 yard line. So both fullbacks, Ryan Gardner was taken off the field in an ambulance, their leading rusher and tackler, and England, the guy who is the heir apparent a senior on this club, but the backup fullback, and he's had a big game rushing, including touchdown runs of 53 and 25 yards, and he is still down at the 20 yard line. Seven minutes, five seconds to go in the game, and now he's up and a little bit woozy. The trainer's attending to him. They're gonna have to uh, 
take some time to get the stars out of that helmet. Taking a long time to get off the field. Uh, teams are out there, liberal ready to snap the ball, but they'll have to wait for England to get off the field, and he finally does. 31-27, Liberal leads it, 7.05 to go. Redskins have it first down from their 19-yard line. Rashidi Love split right. Jackie Wilson will be in the game, split to the left side. Rhodes and Garmin in the backfield. Liberal needs a time-consuming drive here to hang on to this lead. And I wouldn't be surprised to see him run on every down. Pascal, one of the inside linebackers, just two yards off the line of scrimmage, along with Jason Saar, 5'11", 150 sophomore, and they are really bunched up. Chapman brings him to the line. First and 10 from the 19. Handoff, Garmin, right tackle, breaks it. 25, 30, breaks another tackle out to the 35-yard line before he loses his footing. Somebody tripped him up out there, but a big pickup. 16-yard carry and a first down. The clock is rolling, 6.45 to go. Liberal up, 31-27. First and 10 from their 36. Chapman, handoff, straight ahead. Garmin breaks the tackle, fumbles. The ball loose at the 42, and I think Great Bend is on it. A uh, flag is thrown at the 40. Garmin was trying to fight for extra yardage near the 40, and the ball squirted forward a couple yards, and the Panthers have the football. Great Ben has the football. What's the flag about? Let's hold on and see what this penalty marker is all about. The official coming to the center of the field. It's going to be against the Redskins. Great Ben declines it, and the Panthers have the football. Rhodes fumbled early on in the game, a costly fumble that ended up in a touchdown for Great Ben, and now Garmin coughs it up. Great Ben has it in liberal territory at the 42, and now the Redskins want a timeout. Boy, whether you're a liberal or great Ben fan, this has been a showcase of offensive talent. A lot of fireworks. 31-27, liberal leads great Ben with 6.37 to go in the game. And how big does that two-point conversion loom right here? Liberal up by four, and it'll take a touchdown for the Panthers to go ahead instead of a field goal. a credit to this one and four team and coach Randy Hubert. 6.37 to go, first down from the Liberal 42. Crom with two backs behind him. In motion is Williams, the receiver to the right side. Option play, Crom will keep it, breaks the tackle, 40, 39 yard line before he's dragged down. Picks up three on the play. Crom is a shifty type quarterback. He kind of looks for a hole and darts through there. Glover and Rhodes were on the tackle and now a penalty flag is on the field. That's exactly what the official indicating. Boy, 6.24 to go in the game, and Crom probably upset that he was roughed up a little bit on that play, but you don't lose your emotion at this point in the game. Rhodes and Glover were both in there. Wow, 
15-yard penalty. It'll be second down and 22. Great Bend has it now back on their 46-yard line. Second and 22, approaching six minutes. Crom wants to throw, fires it incomplete right side. Threw it over the intended receiver, Ryan Stevens, and Stevens didn't even see the football. It'll be third and 22. Boy, Crom is senior, and you just wouldn't expect a senior to lose his composure. They were driving the football, it would have been second and seven, and now they've got third and long. So big break for Liberal. Third, third and 22, Bob. <laughs> Third and 22 from the 46. It's been suspenseful. Kron drops back. He's going to be sacked. He's dropped. Mike Stickman coming through there, and he drops him for a loss of 15 on the play. Trey Duncan also pressuring the quarterback, and Great Ben will have to punt the football. Kron didn't know what hit him. He turned around, and Stegman was in his face for the sack. It's going to be a loss of 10 on the play. Fourth down and 32. Crom will punt it from his 25 yard line. It's a end over end roller. It's going to bounce inside the liberal 40, inside the 35, and die at the 30 yard line. It was ugly, but he got the job done. 5.27 to go. Stay with us. It's Liberal 31, Great right, Bend 27. You're right listening here. to Redskin Football on 1270 KSCB. <laughs> Five yard game from Chapman. Lamar Chapman picks up five on first down from the 30, and then Andy Hall with a big carry over right tackle, takes it out to the 47, pick up of 12, and Liberal moves the chains. We're under five minutes now. 4.41 to go, Liberal 31, Great Bend 27. They need to hang on to the football here. Ball control, Bob Judd. Rhodes and Hall in the backfield from the 47. Chapman, handoff, Hall, he's got a big opening left side. 45 a great bend, cuts to the outside to the 40. Breaks off one tackle to the 35 and finally knocked out of bounds at the 35 of great bend. Pickup of 18 on the play and a first down. Mark Murphy and Ryan Stevens, the two linebackers on the tackle. First down, Liberal. They'll stop the clock momentarily as they move the chains. 4.14 to go. Liberal 31, Great Bend 27. This one has been a dandy. Checking into the game is Roger Hoffman at a guard spot on the weak side. Jackie Wilson split left. Garmin split right. Rhodes and Hall in the backfield. Handoff. Hall, right tackle, and he wedges it out to the 30. Inside the 30 to the 29. Picks up about five or six. It'll be second down. Aaron Baldwin, the senior tackle on the stop. Clock continues to roll, 350 in the game. Second down, four yards to go. Now, a mo movement on the right side. Ryan Rhodes, the fullback, who was offset in the eye, looked like he moved prematurely. And that's the preliminary call. Uh, it'll be called offsides. It's actually a legal procedure on Rhodes, and that'll mark it five yards back to the 35, and that takes you out of a running situation. They'll probably still run, but second and 10 is a tough way to pick up yardage.
Caught now running, 325, second and 10. Chapman's going to keep it, option right. Cuts back against the grain to the 30, dragging tacklers, and he's going to be knocked down right there at the 30-yard line. Gets the yardage back to the original line of scrimmage. It'll be third down and five as we approach the three-minute mark in this one. 31-27 liberal, and is this four-down territory? You would think it is. Rhodes and Garmin in the backfield. Third and five from the Great Bend 30. Chapman, handoff, Garmin, right tackle. Wedges it out to the 26. He's going to be very close to a first down, and now a penalty flag is thrown. We have seen a lot of yellow hankies in this one. It would be a first down, but which way does this one go? It is holding against Liberal. Another drive killer. This team is looking like the Raiders. And so many penalties in this one, and they're just killing drives. That would have been a first down at the 25-yard line. There's 2.41 on the clock. So instead of first and 10, it's going to be third down. They'll mark it off from the spot where the ball rested. So for Liberal, it'll be third down and 10 yards to go from the 35-yard line. 2.37, the clock running. The Redskins nursing a 31-27 lead. Chapman wants to throw the football, but hold on. Like that play was killed before it got started. What happened there? So a break possibly for the Redskins, 2.24 to go. It is, they're gonna mark it off to the 30. So it'll be third down and five with 2.24 left in this one. Redskins nursing a 31-27 lead. Boy, that really helps out. Third and five instead of third and 10. It's definite two down territory here. Rhodes and Garmin in the backfield. Chapman takes the snap. He's going to option right. He'll keep it 30, 25, plus down to the 20. Inside the 20 to the 15. First and 10 liberal. Lamar Chapman has done it four or five times. Key option plays. And that time he picks up 20. And the clock at 2.11 now. And Great Bend will have to start thinking about using their timeouts. Under two minutes to go. First down from the Panther 15-yard line. Chapman hands off to Hall. Off left tackle, 10, 5, touchdown Redskins! Andy Hall may have iced it right there. Slanting off left tackle. He goes in from 15 yards out. And the Redskins, oh no, Bob, there's another penalty flag down on the 8-yard line. And it's holding, Bob. This team has had so many big plays negated by holding penalties, and Gary Cornelson will address this next week. 149 to go. That would ice the ball game, but instead, we'll mark it off from the end of the play. It'll be first down and 12. The ball back at the 17. 149 to go. So Great Bend still with some hope here. Hall and Rhodes in the backfield. Chapman takes a snap. Hand off to Hall. Off left tackle. He's going to be met and dropped at the line of scrimmage. Coming in that time, a good defensive play from the linebacker Ryan Stevens and Troy Stein. Second down and about 12. The clock running, 130 to go. Second down, 12 yards to go. Liberal will take all the time they can in the huddle. Checking in now is Eli Lanning for Roger Hoffman at a guard spot. 
117, 116. They can run a couple more plays here. When's Great Bend going to use their timeouts? Chapman, option right, he'll keep it. 15, cuts back to the 10, he's dropped there. Picks up about seven, it's gonna bring up third down and five. We're under a minute now, 55 seconds to go. Liberal leading 31-27. Third down and five for the Redskins. Great Ben stops him here, Liberal may have to think about a field goal. Thirty seconds. The clock's still running. Third and four. Chapman takes the snap. Handoff. Hall. Right tackle. He's going in for the touchdown. That ice is it. No penalty flags on the field. And Liberal has iced this ball game. Andy Hall off right tackle scores from ten yards out, and the Redskins lead it, thirty-seven to twenty-seven. for the PAT, Hensley to hold, snap down, kick, and he gets it through there. 22 seconds left, Liberal 37, excuse me, Liberal 38 now with the PAT, Liberal 38, Great Bend 27, you've been listening to Redskin Football, we'll be back for the final 22 seconds on 1270 KSCB. Trebender Bob Judd, Philip Aguilar will squib it on the ground, and it's caught by Hensley. 40, 35, 30, 25, and he's finally knocked down at the 18-yard line. The Redskins with the onside kick, Bob, leading 38-27, and Hensley came up with it, and I think they have to mark the ball back where he caught it at the 46 of Great Bend. Well, they didn't get it to work against Garden City, so they try it here against Great Bend with an 11-point lead. You're right, it didn't. It's going to be marked at the 46. Now Liberal has the ball. They've got it on the 46 of Great Bend. It did go the required 10, so Liberal now will just go to a knee here and end this one. This has been Real entertainment if you're an offensive fan. Chapman goes to a knee at midfield. And that's going to do it. A valiant effort by the Great Bend Panthers, but they come up short. It was an offensive showcase. The final score here from Redskin Field. Liberal 38, Great Bend 27. We'll be back with a postgame. You're listening to Redskin Football on 1270 KSCB.